Helping People Work Together to Learn About the World by Laura Brandt, Elizabeth McDonald, and Vincent Ledvina. When you think about changing the world, what comes to mind? Do you think about an important person or going to school for a long time to learn about something? What if I told you that doing the things you love most and learning more about the things that are close to you could help make the world better and help all of us find out more? There are many ways of knowing about the world. All over, people who know things because they went to school for a long time, people who know things because those things are part of their day-to-day -day lives, and people who know things because the knowing has been passed down through families are working together. They look close at stuff they each know about and each brings their ideas. Each of these ways of knowing is very important on its own. Working together, people who have different ways of knowing can put together pieces that the others might not have thought of and learn more. Some kinds of sharing have helped save lives, some kinds help make the world better, and some kinds help people find out more about the world. Me, I love this kind of thing. I went to school to learn about the past and about how people learn, but I find a lot of wonder in the world around me, just like the people who went to school to find out more about how the world works. This way of taking part helps me bring what I'm good at to join with what they're good at and help move the field forward. Let me tell you about one way this has worked. About five years ago, People who take pictures of the dancing green lights in the sky saw something strange. There was a pink line across the sky, side to side, that had green bits under it. It seemed more above their heads than the usual green lights. What could it be? They brought their pictures to some people who had gone to school for a long time to learn about the lights in the sky, and those people said, we don't know either, yet. So the people who took the pictures brought what they knew, and the people who went to school for a long time brought what they knew, and together they gave the pink line a name and learned more about it. And to this day, they are still working together and learning. They even found out that more people in the past had also seen and wondered about these things. What are the things you know about because you went to school? What are the things you know about because they're part of your day-to-day -day life? Can those things help people or help everyone learn more? If sharing what you know sounds good to you, check out some ways that we can help each other learn more. I work with One Way, named for a big animal and the dancing lights in the sky. We're trying to learn more about the lights and how they are made. People on the ground looking up at the dancing lights can share what they see, and we draw these on a picture of the world. It works so that people who tell us they see the lights not only help with learning, but they help more people see them too. We hope that if you see the lights and want to try this out, you'll have fun sharing and learning with us. If you want to find out more about these things, we hope you will come hear from our friends who went to school for a long time and our friends who learned in different ways. Thank you.